vital functions of the United States government is to establish and maintain diplomatic relations with other countries. In every friendly and civilized nation in the world, there is an American embassy or legation. Whether it is Paris or Cairo, Shanghai or any other remote outpost, the most reliable and confidential means of communication is the courier service. Armed only with his passport, the courier, like a global postman, delivers the top secret dispatches of our government. Possibility. Name? Stephen McQuinn. Profession? Diplomatic courier. Sign them up, partner. You bet. Ah, the boy. How's Liliana? I do not want to talk about my sister. What's the matter? You fighting with her again? Nah, women. She make me sick. What's the crisis this time? Signore, you are my very good buddy, I bet you. You get all my business, pal. Okay, Signore. Today I got the bigger troubles. Uh-huh. Well. A couple of bucks will do the trick. Uh, this term, I think maybe a million a hundred bucks that don't do no good. Somebody chasing you again for swiping fruit? Oh, no, signore. I don't want to steal no more, so much. This time it's my sister. <laughs> Isn't your sister a little big to go around stealing fruit? All right. Out with it, partner. Across the street, signore. The man in the funny of car. He is waiting for Lilian. Well, your sister's a very pretty girl, Nino. I've waited for her myself a few times. But with you, she don't get scared and cry all night and don't eat no food. Signore, I bet you you could make him stay away from my sister. I bet you she'd give me a poke on the nose if I tried. Don't worry about it, pal. You'll be chasing after girls someday yourself. McQuinn, did you ever hear of a Colonel Meisner? No, I don't think so. Is he a German? See, I think so. Uh, what about this Meisner? I don't know what about him, except Liliana. She keeps talking all the time. Colonel Meisner, Colonel Meisner. Nice to see you again, Stephen. Everything all right? Of course. Why do you ask? You know, behaving himself. Oh, that boy. He worries me. Well, let's have a cup of coffee. You can tell me all about it. Oh, no, I must get back to work. Well, some other time? Of course, Stephen. Uh, Nino. Man of the Volkswagen. Could his name be Meisner? I could find out, I bet you. I bet you could, partner. Gracias, senor partner. Hello, Steve. Hi, Vince. You busy? Uh, writing some reports. 
The way to rise in the diplomatic service is to write perceptive reports, it says in the manual. Well, I won't keep you long. Say, uh, did you just give Liliana an envelope to deliver? No, I haven't seen Liliana. Why? Oh, uh, nothing. I, uh, I was just wondering how soon she'd be back. Still at it, I see. Wish I were a courier. You fellas certainly get around. Oh, yeah. Well, that reminds me, there's a message for you here someplace. Oh, yes, here it is. Looks like you have a date waiting for you at the Café Donnay. Wonder who that could be. I don't know. Came while I was out. No name. Well, that's all right. I don't remember making a date. Wish I had so many, I couldn't remember them all. Well, a good courier's never late. Oh, Steve. Yeah? She's got a sister. Give me a call, huh? <laughs> Maybe you would have liked to go a sightseeing. I know places a tourist that never sees. Very cheap. Would you like me to guide you, Senor Colonel Meissner? Hey, Nino. What happened to him? Move along, sir. Now, the boy's a friend of mine. What happened to him? We do not observe it, senor. It appears he was struck by a man. Uh, take it easy, pal. You must have had quite a knock. Senor, I... What happened to you? It was an accident. I tripped. I'm all right. Is this man a friend of yours? Si. Well, we will leave him in your hands, senor, unless there's some charges to be made. However, he stated it was an accident. He ought to know. Thanks. Andiamo. Non credo. Mi dispiace, signore. Mi dispiace. Who was it, the man in the car? He was a very quick at that one. I did not adopt in time. <laughs> you can't win them all, pal. <laughs> Perhaps it is better if you listen to your sister, Nino. She told you not to interfere. Io non bisogna, la sua sconsiglia. You know this man? I'm sorry to say yes. He is to my sister, uh, how do you say it? Um, the boyfriend. Permit me to introduce myself. I am Florio. Uh, I'm afraid I didn't get the last name. It is no last name, no first name, just a Florio. You came to keep your appointment with me, yes, Signor McQueen? I have an appointment with you. I took the liberty to phone you at the American Embassy. Oh! <laughs> Say, uh, maybe you better leave us for a while, huh, pal? You all right now? I am all right. I will see you later, senor. You betcha. Carberriere. Si. For the cognac. Lace cognac? cognac? Fine. What's this? Do a cognac. Si. Grazie. Why did you send for me? Perhaps it is better if I start at the beginning. Yeah. During the war, the Germans had a very clever idea. They decided to counterfeit millions of dollars of American money and ruin the American economy in Europe. This work was done here in Rome by Colonel Paul Meisner. He was the big boss. Yeah, but the plan never got off the ground. The Americans took Rome too fast. But the rest of the money has never been found. It was mostly in the $10 and $20 bills. But how much would you say? At least a million dollars, senor. It is possible there is a more. Yeah, but that was over 10 years ago. But the bills just started to appear in a row. Here's a sample. Hey, this is a pretty skillful job. How did you get this? It was a given to me by a shopkeeper. Mr. McQuinn, I am a, what you in America call a private ear. Private ear? Oh, you mean a private eye, a detective? That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Only I have not got the license. It is also said of me that I am uh, a character in the shade. Character in the shade. 
shady character. Oh, yeah, yes, I see what you mean. <laughs> it is because I've watched so many of your American cinemas that I can't speak of the English so well. An Italian Humphrey Bogart, eh? These are my favorite. Oh, just so. To continue, I wish you to obtain a detective license so I can become a, with the government, what do you call a square? Well, how do you intend to go about it? If I am able to find the hidden money, I could have perhaps turn it over to your government or mine. You would? But of course. Well, uh, permit me to doubt you, pal. I've met your type before. Anybody who goes around swiping government files... Really, Honor, not I. ...then hides behind a woman's skirt. Is there any better place? But seriously, my friend, it was necessary to get to the fire. For the man in the Volkswagen? His name is Hernschen. I was hoping he would lead me to Meisner's wife. Meisner's wife? How does she figure in this? In the file, there's a copy of a letter from Colonel Meisner to his wife. It tells how he sent some of the money to her. Only to her. And then she must be in Rome. You are with the trigger, signore. Yeah. <laughs> but it also tells where the rest of the money is hidden. Where? At the 19th stone. The 19th stone. Hey, are you ribbing me? I don't understand it myself, Signore. But when Liliana tells me that this Hernshit is following her, offering her much money for the Meisner file, I tell her to give it to him. Oh. And I will put a tail on him. Yeah, well, hunch and ducked. But there's still the Meisner woman passing him the funny money. Rome's a very big city. Rest assured, Signore. In the end, I will find her. I have the nose for money, funny or not. I'll bet you have. <laughs> I should have told us you were coming tonight. I would have prepared dinner. Oh, well, that's all right. Hey, how's the bump on your head, pal? Senor, I think maybe I hurt his head. My head is hard like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> sit down, Steven, sit down. Thank you. Why have you come here tonight, Stephen? Is there something wrong at the embassy? I'm afraid there is, even though they don't know about it yet. Why did you do it, Liliana? Do what, Stephen? Steal the Meisner file. Florio told me. Florio? You know, I don't usually give advice in matters like this, but this time I feel I must. He's no good, Liliana. See, si. I know, Stephen. My heart tells me he is no good, but my heart also tells me that I love him. I argued with him. I pleaded. In the end, he persuaded me. What am I to do? Well, I think the first thing you should do is try and get that file back. You're in trouble. Bad trouble. How? I had given it to Henshin. I think Florio wanted Henshin to lead him to the, uh, 19th stone. The 19th stone? Uh-huh. What is this? Well, I don't know exactly, but it's a clue to where an awful lot of money is hidden. Signore, how much is that? Well, it's more than you and I will ever have, you know. A million, a hundred dollars, maybe? Uh, Nino, go out on the balcony and play. At once, or you go to bed. We could find the money first, I bet you. <laughs> Nino. Senor, we are partners, yes? Half of what I get out of it is yours, pal. Okay. I am afraid, Senor, if it's Patrick will find out about the file and have me arrested. Well, I wouldn't get panicky about it. I'll talk to him first thing in the morning. There may still be a way out. Volkswagen. Well, where's Hansen? He drove it in and got out. I knew he would come back. Well, this time he's walked into something he isn't expecting. Nino, get on the couch and stay there. You let him in, then I'll let you know. Dad. 
She's dead. You better call the police. Operator, la policia, subito. I told you I would find a Colonel Meisner as a wife. It is understood that none of you will leave a room without consulting us. Yes, of course. We should have got rid of the body before the police arrived. Now they will connect me with the murder. It's just too bad about you. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Why would she come up here in the first place? I finally find her and I invite her here. She was afraid to talk to me in the street. It's only your fault. Everything you do, you always do a crazy. Hernshin should have hit you harder. Hard enough to break your neck. Florio, what are we going to do? Leave it to me. Have a faith in Florio. You want to show us your good faith, huh? Then show us what you took out of the dead woman's pocket. I? I took nothing. It's in the right-hand pocket of your jacket. Do you want me to look? Oh, you mean this? <laughs> it's a bus ticket. To Baraggio. Why would Mrs. Meisner want to go to Baraggio? It is a famous German army cemetery. Colonel Meisner is buried there. Cemetery? Graves? The 19th gravestone. Florio, did... Come on, Ileana, your boyfriend took a powder. I want to go too. No, you stay here, pal. But, senor, you should have a queen. I'll drive. No, no, Steven. In case anyone sees us, this is embassy business. You sit in back. Well, I guess you're right. Hold it, hold it. Nino! Come on, get out of there. But, senor... Come on, come on. Now, you go home and stay there. Senor, I think maybe we are no longer partners. Vaya casa, Nino. I... Senor, you ought to be sorry. Oh, that boy. What? Slow down, Liliana. Slow down, will you? If anybody stops us, we'll have a tough time explaining what we're doing outside of city limits after being warned by the police. I am driving carefully. And besides, we are on embassy business. Yeah? What kind of embassy business requires a shovel? You realize I may be digging up half the graves in the cemetery before the night's over? Looks like somebody got here ahead of us. Florio. Works pretty fast, doesn't it? Not so fast as I could wish, signore. Why did you lie? Why did you not wait to go with us? You are too slow. You are even slower than I am. And I had no time to explain it to you. What are you giving us, Florio? Nobody else knew about this. You are mistaken, Signor McQuinn. Herr Hanschen knew about it. Here is the proof. Who else would it be? Ah, uh, by this time, he must have left with the money. I don't think so. What do you mean? Take a good look at that mound of earth. There isn't enough room to bury that amount of money. A million dollars in 10 and 20 dollar bills would make quite a package. A million dollars? Would make a pretty bulky... Yeah, yes, I think so. You are quick, as they say, with the trigger. Mm. So a hair wrenching like you and I went on a chase of the wild goose. That's right, the goose that lays the golden eggs. Only there is a no goose. Well, apparently we misinterpreted the clues. Maybe. You got any other ideas? Maybe. I'll bet you have. Come in, Stephen. I will prepare the coffee. But first, I must look in on Nino. Nino? Nino! What's the matter? He is not here. 
Well, maybe he went over to some friend's house. Oh, no, he would not do this. He knows I worry. Oh, we fight sometimes, but there is much love between us. He would not do this to me. Nino! Nino, what has happened? Where have you been? Nothing happens. I am okay. Two hundred percent. Come on now, where have you been? You would not let me ride with you, so I walk. And I hike a hitch. You didn't? All the way from the cemetery? No. I get the pretty tired, so I turn around and I come back. Oh, Nino, Nino. I don't understand. We came back on that same road. How come we didn't pass you? Sometimes with the road turns, I take the short way across the fields. But mostly I am on the road. I see the sign which says Roma, 10 kilometers. Then I start to count them. Nine kilometers, eight kilometers, seven. After a while, the stones are not so close together. What stones, Nino? The kilometer stones on which you can sit when the feet are hurt. Stones, stones, kilometer markers. You suppose that's it? The Milan Road. Maybe he buried the money at the 19th kilometer stone. Florio, we must hurry. Well, here we go again. We're still partners, pal. If it went for you, we wouldn't know. But this time you stay home, okay? Okay, you betcha. <laughs> So what's in here that's so important? So there's a place for making counterfeit 10 and $20 bills. Very good plates, the best. It's much easier to bury the plates than a great deal of money. I see. Let me have them, please. Why did you kill Mrs. Meisner? It is very simple. Fra Meisner and I were to be partners, but she did not trust me. So when that fool Florio spoke to her, she made an appointment to see him. So you killed her before she had a chance to talk, you thought? Precisely. It doesn't matter that you know. You will not live to tell anyone. And nor will you, Fraulein, I regret to say. Now, now wait a minute, Hutchin. Uh, well, can't we make some sort of a deal here? You do not fool me, McQuinn. Well, I've waited long enough. Claudio! I never thought I'd be glad to see you again. The feeling is a mutual, senor. The plates, please. Claudio! You cannot do this! You cannot! It is all for you, cara mia. You would not wish to marry a poor man? Marry you? Never! You expect me to marry a thief? Oh, there are not words enough to tell you how much I hate you. Please, my heart. Remember, I've got a gun in my hand. Do not anger me so much. Turn around. Both of you, get over there. I warn you. Do not try to follow me. I regret you will have to walk back to Rome. Walk back? Unless you have another set of keys. Mine are killing me. What happened? Fitz, we're in trouble. We've got to act fast. If we don't, the whole country's going to be flooded with phony American bills. I don't know where the plates are now, but... You mean these plates? The Colonel Meisner plates? You make a pretty good time. Claudia! What are you doing here? 
I'm sorry, Senor McQueen. I have to bring her back at the plates of myself. But it is to take me out of the shade so I kind of be a square again. You've earned your detective license, Florio. I think we can help you get it. You mean you made us walk all that way just for that? Why, man, I'd have given you all the credit. But I kind of taken no chances, Signore. No chances? You trusted me with your girl, didn't you? I do not trust in you, Signore. But I have a full trust in Liliana. Oh, <laughs> Caro. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Italian Humphrey Bogart.